Hello folks, it's Rich here. For those who don't know me, I'm a novice guitarist, I like guitars. This is guitar number, I need to check the spreadsheet, 105, 104. And it's Harley Benton number 25 or 24, not sure. Incidentally, if you are new here, all oh, bad hair day, every day. I've only got seven of them. It's amazing how they can be so messy. And I've put together a playlist on my channel of my guitar reviews and comparisons. So there's, uh, how many have we got? It's about 13 or, and this goes up, 14 Harley Bentons, 10 Squires, I think. Mm, three or four PRSs, Chapman, Hona, Glary, Glary, Vintage, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, playlist. So if you want to have a poke around of, of my amateurish reviews, but hopefully objective because I've had so many of the bloody things, you can see them. And there are a few comparisons as well. I might put up another playlist of a few golf things that I've done and, um, and maybe a few of my playthrough, guitar playthroughs. Anyway, 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 what is this and why have I bought it? Well, so the Ibanez S521, which was here last week, had to go back, unfortunately. The tone knob just, and you know what I'm like, I like a tone knob to work. It really wasn't very good. And the volume knob actually only had a, a very short range of volume just right at the bottom. A couple of the tuners were a bit crap. Tough out of balls to it, so it went back. And But I still need something with humbuckers. And I need an LP. Now, in Harley Benton land, I've not had many LPs of theirs, actually. I've had a couple of SC Custom 2s, which are an LP shape. Um, what else have I had, actually? Written down there, yeah. I had, uh, oh yeah, the SC 400 gold top, which is not very good. Or, or at least my one wasn't. And I had um, an SC500 or an LP500, an older model. But the SC450 has always appealed because it looks pretty. It's affordable. So it's £169 in English, new, from Germany. I ordered this, by the way, on... What day is it today? Thursday. I ordered it on Sunday night. So it's taken from Sunday night, where I guess nobody was there order processing unless they do oh that looks nice and it came today so yes i wanted another lp and i did just didn't want to spend too much money i just didn't i don't spending well i'm not like spending loads in terms of individual guitar money but and oh, hello <laughs> we've talked about a bit of condensation having the classics as well haven't we before a telly uh, a strat and a, an lp so as you know, I really, really like my telly. So here's the LP. Right. First things first. Is that wobbly and just needs tightening or is that shonky? Hmm. Well, we'll find out imminently. This, I've said before, always worries me because if it had been fully QC by somebody, you wouldn't have that on there, that would be taken off and they'd be checking up the action. So this is literally straight from factory and only has whatever love you get from the factory, which I don't think is probably all that much, but hey, my TE52 is perfect, is perfect. So I can't fault it, so you never know. Let's find out and see what we've got, let's come a bit closer to you. So first impressions, super first impressions. That is the top. It's, it's a nice color. It's a bit wishy-washy in terms of the sort of flaming, if you like, but you know, it's a cheap guitar. The second SC Custom 2 I had was a bit wishy-washy like this. That switch feels Rubbish. Yes, it does. The switch I had on my SC400 was terrible, and this feels like it might be terrible, but we'll soon find out. Fretboard's a bit dry. It's not good. It looks nice on the back. Neck joint, easy access. It's got push pulls, which are stiff. 
But actually, that's, that's a good thing. Um, most of all, it doesn't look to be damaged. I say, and I hope that's just loose. It's actually a bit cockeyed. So I'm on the piss off to the left. <laughs> this is not great, but um, one of the reasons that I've never wanted to spend too much on a, on a Harley Benton new because, you know, the QC on them can be a bit iffy and if you're going to have iffy QC and you don't want to spend too much on it, binding on the side of the neck there is not totally straight, but that's okay. It's not, it's a nut like. These tuners are a weird colour, aren't they? They're really, really dark green. Mm. But it's reassuringly heavy. Is it heavier than my T52? No, is it lighter? A little bit. I don't think anything can be heavier than that T52. <laughs> Weighs an absolute ton. So, so that's the overall look. Fret's like, am I going to cut my fingers? I'm not. What's the action like? Well, it's too, it's a little bit too high for me, but it's lower than they usually are on Harley Bentons. Usually when they come straight from the factory, they're a bloody nightmare. They're way too, way too high. Let's see if it works. First things first. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Crackle, crackle. Like a super quick tune up. And a super quick. Ah, oh, this snark tuner. I've got my, I've got a tuner on my amp now, my Mustang amp. But um, I still, right? That tuner, this tuning peg feels a bit crap. The second tuner feels a bit better than the first one. First one feels loose and wobbly. Um, Snark, why aren't you working? It's just convenient on the end of it. The one on my amp, I'm not after, I'm look for it. <laughs> Strain my neck, poor me. D ish. G. G ish B It's got a nice slim neck actually. What's that like in terms of uh a Les Paul style? Is it fifth uh sixties is it that goes smooth? Oh the nut. Actually, when I run my fingers up here, whoop, it comes out the sides a little bit. Tiny bit wide. Tiny bit wide. Uh, anyway, where were we? Where were we? Uh, add the tune G. Add the tune B. Add the tune. Oh, this uh, this tuning peg for the high E that feels a bit grim. Not notchy, just flimsy. Oh, look, I'm just going to put the volume up. We're not going to be right in tune, are we? Literally come off straight up a truck. Oh dear. Right. So the first things I want to know is how well do the volume and tones graduate? graduates well. Now I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping the tone knob works. I like it when tone knobs work, especially on an LP.
Okay. Let's uh, go right down to here. Volume. Okay. Tone. Strangely, like, not quite as a. Uh, Responsive as the as the neck. It's on the clean channel, by the way. maybe Con bit condensation from being in the truck maybe who knows um... stretching. The frets are absolutely filthy, I have to tell you. They are disgusting. They are grim. Hmm. They look awful. So that's that. Close up, can't really tell in this light but they are awful. They are, considering my T52 came with basically polished frets. There's a couple of little glue marks as well. Uh, here. Yeah. This one is, is definitely feeling a bit more like I'm a Harley Benton and I'm not perfect. <laughs> but um, why is that bridge pickup so high? Hmm. Okay, well, I am gonna keep it because Sending back to Germany is a pain in the bottom, and I think fundamentally it's okay and it's pretty. You know, it's a it's a nice looking smudgy topped <laughs> lemon drop. <laughs> I mean, lemon drop my foot. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah. So I'm not absolutely wowed by it, but I'm not sad either. So um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, why is that right up there? So yes, I'm gonna have a little bit of a tinker tinker with it. And uh, that's it. Sorry, this video is long. No one likes a long video, do they? It's boring. Anyway, anyway, that's it for now. Oh, and by the way, I've, I know I'm always wearing Puma Tracksters at home. I'm not sponsored by Puma, by the way. They're just comfy and they're affordable. 
Right, bye-bye.